everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be unbagging my Ipsy bag and I'm super excited. It literally just got delivered, so I have not opened it yet. So we're gonna be doing a full opening on camera and I'm hoping everything is here. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. All right, let's get right into it. Oh man, product overload. We have the theme this month as keep growing, I guess for spring. It teaches you ways that you can upcycle your glam bag. Ipsy chose for me the Dr. Brandt Clean Biotic pH Balanced Yogurt Cleanser with Chlorophyll. Now I have gotten this in the past. It wasn't the cleanser though, it was the overnight sleep mask. I love that it had probiotics or prebiotics, one of the two in it. I'm happy to try out the cleanser as well. I mean, a cleanser is something that you're gonna use. It's supposed to help balance your pH of your skin and I'm just excited to try this one. This is what the actual product looks like. The next product we've got is by Koa Life, and this is their vitamin C brightening oil. I'm not too big on oils and stuff. I didn't realize this was an oil. I thought it was a serum, but it's supposed to reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation, aging, it's supposed to be hydrating and just even your complexion out. This is what the product looks like. I thought I could have sworn and said it was a serum. I'll have to look back on that, but if not, I mean, maybe I could just use it on my hand. Also guys, <laughs> back to the bag real quick. This bag, it's different material. It's like a, a very thin material. I don't know what you call this. It's like almost like a rain jacket kind of material or like a camping bag. It just, it feels kind of cheaper. If this is waterproof, that's kind of cool, but I don't know if it's better quality or worse quality than the previous ones. Let's move on to my first category. I ended up choosing from Juice Beauty. This is their Prebiotics Tartaric and Iris Instant Flash Facial. And this is actually supposed to be a scrub. And I'm so excited because I love face scrubs. Juice Beauty is a pretty good company as well. So, oh, but sad. It's literally up to here in the container. You could literally see straight through it in my camera and it's just empty up here. It's literally just air. Oh, that's disappointing. Because it's two ounces. That's a bummer. Literally a third of the package is empty. How sad. Disappointing. But I'm really excited to try it. So I would say though, retail value, I think it's quite expensive to have that much missing from the package. Moving on, we're going to go into my next category of choices. I chose the High High Expectations Cannabis Facial Oil, 32% Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Intensive Repair and Replenishment. Literally two minutes ago, I told you guys that I'm not a huge fan of oils, <laughs> but I was comparing this to one of the other products that I was curious about. This one had way better ingredients. I may have been looking at the foot cream or something. I don't know, I don't remember. So this is what it looks like. I'm actually quite surprised at how big the package is. I was expecting it to be maybe like a lot smaller. The ingredients though in this, it's just packed with oils, fruit extract, so many great ingredients that I could not pass this up. I'm probably not going to use this on my face. I'm probably going to use this on my body or my hands or whatever. Maybe I'll try it on my face, but just honestly, probably not. But just ingredient wise, I was like, I have to try this. Moving on to my last category and last item. So sad guys, this went by so fast. This is by Huxley and it's their Secret of Sahara Mask Oil and Extract. Good things come from comfort zones. It's supposed to be three masks or three sheet masks, but I'm kind of confused because it said, okay, it says here, the mask and then oil and extract, an innovative dual pouch facial sheet mask that combines cactus extract and hand harvested prickly pear seed oil. It leaves skin soft and glowing, made of soft, ultra thin microfiber. I'm supposed to leave on for 15 to 20 minutes. Today's video shout out word is prickly pear. If you comment prickly pear down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. This is cool. This looks very innovative. This is what I was drawn to. It looks like a high end face mask kind of. It's not like your typical sheet mask you get. I have so many sheet masks, I really don't need any more. That's why this last category for me was very difficult, like choosing an option because they were just like not too appealing to me, like any of them. So I ended up going with the sheet mask. It just looked 
different and new and innovative to me, so I figured I'd try it. And it's a set of three, so if I don't like it or if I wanna give some out and away, I can use one and then give some to you, give some to friends, give some to family, whatever. I just find this very interesting. So I think what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like put the oil into the mask and then like mesh it together. So I guess maybe this separation of ingredients just keeps it more stable while it's packaged. I don't know, more work for you as the consumer, but maybe you'll get better results on your skin after hopefully. All right, guys. So these are all of the products that I got from Ipsy this month. We've got a cleanser, a face oil. We've got another face oil, vitamin C. The other one is cannabis sativa. We've got a face scrub and some face masks. You know, I have to say, guys, if there's ever makeup in my pics or whatever, this one was actually hard because the eyeshadow palette I was really drawn to, but I didn't choose it mainly because I have like a bajillion eyeshadow palettes and I wanted it, but it's like, do I really need it? I have so many that are similar to it. So that's why I ended up not choosing one of the eyeshadow palettes as the choice. Otherwise I would have, but I've been noticing lately, I've just been getting all skincare from Ipsy. I love skincare, so I'm okay with it, but I just wish there was like more choice options. Like I know a lot of people, like if you go to the super market and in America we have like 500 choices of cereal to choose from. In other countries there's like two so it's like it's an easy choice. I know here it's a hard choice because there's so many options but at the same time at least you can get what you want so I kind of wish Ipsy had maybe just a few more choices because there's so many things out there and then like you can for sure get what you want unless you're late to the party and choose late i do love my bag this month i will put the total retail value on the screen because i don't remember fully exactly what it is definitely a good value it's a cute flowery daisy bag this month as well would you guys get in your ipsy bags this month let me know down below i want to hear you guys' choices and what do you guys think of my bag? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.